Ah, Leopold, you've come. Why did you bring Her Majesty out here? You said yourself she's not in good shape. It's what the situation demanded. We needed the Emperor's might to drive the Allied army away. Did we now? Besides, the decision was not mine to make. But now is not the time for this idle chatter. I must be going. It is essential I escort the Emperor to Garrig Mok. You shall stay behind to impede the enemy's advance. We cannot let any harm come to Her Majesty. Somehow I doubt it's her safety you're worried about. But fine. I've got my orders. You can go. My deepest thanks. This way, Your Majesty. Adresti is not going to last much longer if that's how our Emperor's looking. If that's what you think, then flee. You're just a general. No noble rank to defend, nor a claim to one otherwise. Another life is out there for you, should you want it. You're telling me to abandon the Empire? That's not like you. You're far too young to be throwing your life away. I wouldn't begrudge you such a decision. Oh, come on! I'll land the decisive blow that'll turn this whole thing around. Hmm. Imagine a grand ship sailing on a vast sea, Kaspar. One day it crosses the path of a vicious storm and begins to sink. Some panic and jump overboard. Others resign themselves to their fates and let the Tempest do what it will. Yet more rob their fellow sailors for meaningless plunder while another group clings to the helm, searching desperately to reverse their fortunes. Uh... And us? We stand proud at the bow, serenading our crew as the waves lap at their feet. Our voices are like thunder piercing through the chaos, stirring the hearts of all those who stand face to face with death. I get it. I'm gonna scream my lungs out until I can't draw another breath. Things might be bleak now, but they're gonna learn just what the Empire is all about. Come, my son. It's time we show them the might of House Burglies once and for all. The Imperial Army has fled south with the Emperor in tow. They appear to be headed for Garrick Mach. And just as planned, the Archbishop and her squadron are en route there as well. But we have also received word of suspicious behavior from the fugitive Duke Iyer. Meaning what? Rather than retreat to the monastery, he remains roaming in the vicinity of this very battlefield. Or perhaps it is a trap or a diversion of some kind. We still do not know what our enemy is planning. But we do know that Count Burglies has stationed units at various key points in the hopes of slowing us down. Well, now what? Duke Iyer might not be rushing to reach Garrick Mach. But we should be. We don't want to lose our advantage. Of course not. But if we charge in too hastily, we'll be swarmed by Burglies and his soldiers. Hmm. Looks like you need my guidance. Hear me out. With an army as big as ours, there's no point trying to get clever with it. Our only real concern is the possibility of getting surrounded. Therefore, what I propose is... We'll push our way through, strike everywhere all at once. Whatever traps Duke Iyer's got for us, we'll blow straight through them. This isn't a thinking person's fight, not now. We've got the stronger army, so let's start acting like it. <sighs> I didn't realize we had two boars on our side, though I can't say I disagree. We have the numbers. It is a good plan. 
I hold no objections. Our combined might would overwhelm even the greatest ambush. Now, the Empire will learn what the legions of Vargas are capable of. <laughs>